We've got almost everything we need for the Polyjuice Potion. Knock grass, leeches, and boomsling skin. Now there's a full moon. We can go and get the Fluxweed. Meet me at the greenhouse in Hogwarts grounds. Harry, the Fluxweed should be growing in here somewhere. Go inside and have a look. Be careful though. The venomous tentacula will be full size by now. Perhaps Incendio will have the desired effect against it. Alright, let's go burn a plant. There it is. Bam! Oh, he's spinning out multiples now. Got it. Fluxweed. Well done, Harry. You've got the Fluxweed. That's everything we need for the Polyjuice Potion. Meet me at Myrtle's bathroom tomorrow morning. Alright, Harry. You look all hot and bothered. It's nothing. I'd better get going. Well, take care, Harry. You should be careful wandering these halls alone these days. Thanks, Hagrid. Why, it's Potty. We Potter. Why, Potter's... Why is Potter lurking? Attack! Attack! Another attack! No mortal or ghost is safe! Run for your lives! Attack! Oh, Potter, you rotter! What have you done? Killing off students. You think it's good fun. That's enough, peeves. This way, Potter. Professor, I swear I didn't... This is out of my hands. Sherbert Lemon. Go up to Professor Dumbledore's office and wait. He'll be with you shortly. Harry, an unfortunate situation. I hope we can resolve it as soon as possible. It wasn't Harry, Professor Dumbledore. I was talking to her, to her in seconds before Justin was found. He never had time, sir. I'll swear it in front of the Ministry of Magic. I don't believe Harry attacked those people, Hagrid. You don't think it was me, Professor? No, Harry. But I must ask you if there's anything you'd like to tell me. Anything at all. There's nothing, Professor. We still need a bit of the person you're going to change into to complete the Polyjuice Potion. The best plan would be to get some of either Crab or Goyle. What a disgusting thought. How are we supposed to do that? Don't worry about that, Harry. I'll take care of it. I'll meet you back in Myrtle's bathroom. Hermione? I've got one of Goyle's hairs for you. Just don't ask me how. I won't. I sneaked a spare robe out of the laundry. You'll need a bigger size once you're Goyle. Now remember, after you drink the potion, you'll have exactly one hour before you turn back into yourself. Well, here goes. We've got to locate the Slytherin common room. I only hope we can find someone to lead us there. I'll see you back here, Hermione, when I've spoken to Malfoy. Oh, hello, Goyle. What's the new password again? Uh, oh yeah, pure blood. I've got something to show you. My father's just sent it to me. Listen to this. Arthur Weasley, head of the Misuse of Non-Magical Artifacts office, was today fined 50 galleons for bewitching a car. Mr. Lucius Malfoy called for Mr. Weasley's resignation and told our reporters he is clearly unfit to draw up our laws and his ridiculous non-magical people protection act should be scrapped immediately. Funny, don't you think? Uh, yeah. I'm surprised the Daily Prophet hasn't reported those attacks. I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush it all up. Father says he's the worst thing that ever happened to this place. Dumbledore loves non-magical people. And then there's St. Potter. Another one with no proper wizard feelings, or he wouldn't go around with that jumped-up Granger mudblood. 
and people think he's Slytherin's heir. I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. You must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I haven't, Goyle, but I do know that last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood died. If one of them's killed this time, I hope it's Granger. Do you know if the person who opened it last time was caught? Uh, um, oh, uh, I think I should go, not feeling very well. Do that, Goyle. You're behaving more oddly than usual today. I missed my line, though. Read? I didn't know you could read. I'd better sneak back. I'd better sneak back out and meet up with Ron. So, is Malfoy the heir of Slytherin? No, he isn't. I was so sure it was Malfoy. Hang on, I can hear someone. Sounds like it's coming from Myrtle's bathroom. Let's have a look. Even more work from me. Mop up all night like I haven't got enough to do. No, this is the final straw. I'm going to Dumbledore. Filch. You don't think someone else has been attacked. Wah! And what's up with her? Let's go and see. What's the matter, Myrtle? Who's that? Come to throw some, something else at me? Why would I do that? Don't ask me, I mind my own business and someone comes in and throws a book at me. Where did it go? I don't know, I was sitting in the u bend thinking about death and it fell right on my head. Let's take a look. T.M. Riddle. Can't say I've heard of him. 50 points if you get it through Myrtle's nose. I think I'll keep it. Come on, let's go. Thanks, Myrtle. My name is Harry Potter. Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Tom Riddle. How did you come by my diary? Someone tried to flush it down the toilet. This diary holds memories of terrible things, things that were covered up at Hogwarts. I'm at Hogwarts now, and terrible things are happening. Do you know about the Chamber of Secrets? The chamber was opened up during my fifth year, and the monster attacked several students. I caught the person who'd opened the chamber, and he was expelled, but I knew it would happen again. The monster lived on, and the one who had the power to release it was not imprisoned. Who was it last time? I found the culprit in the dungeons. There he was, crouched down in front of a huge box, whispering to something. Come on, gotta get you out of here. Come on, now, in the box. I stepped forwards and confronted him. It was Rubius Hagrid. I don't think he meant to kill anyone, but monsters don't make good pets. As I tried to cast a spell, the monster erupted from the box and escaped. There you are, what's up? It was Hagrid, Ron. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. I'm going to see him. I wonder what this key opens. I suppose I should follow them. Who is this? A man? Is it Hagrid? No, this is a stranger. Get rid of him. I was sleeping. I, I'm a friend of Hagrid. Hagrid has never sent men into our hollow before. Hagrid's in trouble. That's why I've come. In trouble? But why has he sent you? They think up at the school that Hagrid's been setting a, a something on students. They've taken him to Azkaban. But that was years ago. That's why they made him leave the school. They believed that I was the monster that dwells in what they call the Chamber of Secrets. They thought that Hagrid had opened the chamber and set me free. And you didn't come from the Chamber of Secrets? I was not born in the castle. I came from a distant land. Hagrid had me when I was only an egg. He cared for me, fed me table scraps. Hagrid is my good friend and a good man. When discovered and blamed for the death of a girl, he protected me, and I have lived here in the forest ever since. So you never never attacked anyone? Out of respect for Hagrid, I have never harmed a human. The only part of the castle I ever saw was the cupboard in which I grew up, and the girl who was killed was discovered in a bathroom. But then, do you know what did kill the girl? Because whatever it is, it's back and it's attacking people again. The thing that lives in the castle is an ancient creature we spiders fear above all others. 
We do not speak of it. Well, I'll just go then. Go. I think not. But, but, I cannot deny my children fresh meat when it wanders so willingly into our midst. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. I wouldn't have lasted much longer if you hadn't turned up in the car. Thanks, Ron. You do the same for me. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Your trunk's been ransacked. I don't know if anything's missing, but it's a bit of a mess up there. You'd better go check it out. Okay. Someone's definitely been looking for something. Oh no, Riddle's diary is, diary's gone. I'd better go and tell Ron and Hermione in the common room. What? But only a Gryffindor could have stolen. No one else knows our password. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What's happened, Ron? Jenny, Jenny's disappeared. McGonagall said a student has been taken by the monster into the Chamber of Secrets itself. What are we going to do? Wait here, I have an I I've had an idea. Wonder if she saw the attacker. Hey, look in her right hand. What is it? I don't know. Looks like a piece of paper. It's a page torn from a book. Of the many fearsome beasts and monsters that roam our land, there is none more deadly than the basilisk, known also as the king of serpents. Its methods of killing are most wondrous, for aside from its venomous fangs, the basilisk has a murderous stare, and all who are fixed with the beam of its eyes shall suffer instant death. Spiders flee before the basilisk, for it is their mortal enemy. Hermione's written the word pipes at the bottom. That's it, Ron. The monster is a basilisk, a giant snake. That's why I've been hearing voices, because I understand parcel tongue. No one's looked directly at it, so that's why no one's died, and they've only been petrified. But how's a flipping great snake been getting around the place? Pipes, Ron. It's been using the plumbing. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets? What if it's in a what if it's a bathroom? Money Myrtle's bathroom. Let's go there now and see if she knows anything. What do you want this time? Myrtle, tell us how you died. Oh, it was dreadful. I died right in that cubicle. I'd hidden because Olive Hornby was teasing me about my glasses. The door was locked and I was crying. And then I heard somebody come in. They said something funny, a different language, I think. Anyway, it was a boy speaking. So I unlocked the door to tell him to go and use his own bathroom. And then I died. How? No idea. I just remember seeing a pair of great big yellow eyes. Where exactly did you see the eyes? There, somewhere by that, excuse me, by that sink. Let's look. Look here, there's a tiny snake scratched onto the side of the sink. Say something in parcel tongue. Open up. I can't get through, Harry. You go on ahead, I'll get help. Jenny, Jenny, please don't be dead. She won't wake up. Tom? Tom Riddle? What do you mean she won't wake up? She's not, she's not, she's still alive, but only just. How? How did Jenny get like this? The diary, my diary. Little Jenny's been writing in it for months. She poured out her soul to me, and I grew stronger and stronger on a diet of her deepest fears, her darkest secrets. Powerful enough to start feeding her some of my secrets. To pour a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Jenny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets. She set the Serpent of Slytherin on those mudbloods. Of course, she didn't know she was doing it at first. Then she grew suspicious of the diary and tried to get rid of it. But you found it, Harry. The very person I was most anxious to meet. I wanted to find out more about you. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. You framed Hagrid, didn't you? Ha! Huh, as if he could really be capable of opening the Chamber of Secrets. He lacks the brains and the power. Only Dumbledore believed he was innocent. I bet he saw right through you. Well, he certainly kept an annoyingly close watch over me. I knew I wouldn't be able to open the chamber again while I was in school, so I preserved my 16-year-old self in the diary, hoping that one day I could lead another in my footsteps and finish Salazar Slytherin's noble work. 
Well, you haven't finished it. The Mandrake Draught is already almost ready, and everyone who is petrified will be back to normal. Killing Mudbloods isn't my concern anymore. For many months now, my new target has been you. I knew you'd go to any lengths to solve the mystery, especially if one of your friends was attacked. So I made Jenny write her own farewell on the wall and come down here. I've been waiting for you. I have many questions for you, Harry Potter. Like what? Well, how is it that a baby with no extraordinary magical talent managed to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? How did you escape with nothing but a scar while Lord Voldemort's powers were destroyed? Why? Why do you care how I escaped? Voldemort was after your time. Voldemort is my past, present, and future, Harry Potter. Tom Marvalo Riddle. I am Lord Voldemort. Voldemort. It was a name I was already using at Hogwarts, to my most intimate friends only, of course. A name wizards would one day fear to speak when I had become the greatest sorcerer in the world. To business, Harry. Twice in your past in my future we have met, and twice I failed to kill you. How did you survive? The longer you talk, the longer you stay alive. No one knows why you lost your powers, but I know why you couldn't kill me, because my mother, my common, non-magical born mother died to save me, and I've seen the real you. I saw you last year. You're barely alive. You're ugly and disgusting. I see now your mother dying for you, a powerful counter charm. There is nothing special about you after all. I wondered because there are strange likenesses between us, Harry Potter. Now, Harry, let's match the powers of Lord Voldemort, heir of Slytherin against famous Harry Potter. Speak to me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts Four. Go for the eyes, Fox. Oh, I heard it. Oh, I gotta hit its body. It changes color so you can tell you're hurting it. Now it's spitting off light. Poison. Oh, yeah, I got him down to half health. Jesus. He's got a lot of health. He is the final ball, so that makes sense. Scotty. Come on, one more hit. I'm just missing him a lot now. Got him. Harry. Oh, Harry. It was me, but I, I swear I didn't mean to. R Riddle made me. He t took me over, and how did you kill that, that thing? Where's Riddle? It's all right. Riddle's finished. Look, him and the basilisk. Jenny, you're alive. I don't believe it. 
Back in the Great Hall, Harry told them everything that had happened, from how Lord Voldemort had enchanted Jenny Weasley through the diary, right up to the battle against the Basilisk. And so, thanks to Harry, the Chamber of Secrets was closed once again. Everyone who had been petrified returned to normal, and the students of Hogwarts were treated to the most spectacular feast they had ever eaten. Hagrid was soon reinstated as groundskeeper, while Draco Malfoy no longer strutted around the school as though he owned the place. After counting up the house points for the year, Professor Dumbledore announced that Gryffindor had won the house cup. Alright, that was Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets. That wasn't too bad of a game. I enjoyed it. It was uh, pretty fun. A nice little adventure style kind of game. Uh, but that'll be it for me. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. If you're interested in seeing uh, more GBA, NES, Arcade, I even do uh, free independent uh, horror games and a few uh, commercial ones. If you're interested in any of that, just check out my YouTube. There's a lot more. I've got lots of games. And until next time, guys, keep up the positivity.